Coach, you want to make another statement? We just want to take questions. Yeah, okay. okay, go ahead. Okay, well, we're uh, excited to get back to work. Um, we understand there's a lot of work to be done, and uh, you know, losing's not uh, fun, and it should be fun. So I think all of our coaches know that we've got to do our part. Our players got to, you know, get back to work, and uh, you know, we've tried to correct some of the mistakes we made in the past game, and now it's moving on uh, to the next opponent, which is going to be another good opponent, just like it is every week. And we've just got to find ways to, uh, you know, play better, uh, be consistent, uh, make plays, and, and find a way to win these close games. Okay, we'll open it up for questions. Dakota, why don't you start us off? Coach, just after reviewing the film and, um, you know, looking over that game, what did you – can you just talk about the overall performance, specifically uh, of, of the defense in the second half? What kind of – where were the struggles? What kind of went wrong for you guys down the stretch on the defensive side of the ball? Well, I think everyone could see we had a hard time stopping the run and, uh, you know, putting – putting a nail on that and uh you know those are things that we got to do much better than that um you know should we be a little more aggressive and, and make sure that we attack a little bit more uh, yes and uh you know but we need guys to step up and, and make plays uh when they're there so i think it's a combination of a lot of things anytime uh you're not good at something uh, we got to evaluate exactly what we're doing and how we're doing it and and, and put the best package we can together and then our players got to go out and play tough and physical. And there's got to be times where you know, people man up and say, I'm, I'm going to get a stop. But, uh, yes, we, we uh, recognize the, the issues, and we're going to work hard this week to fix it. Offensively, do you feel like you're where you need to be at? Uh, you know, Jack had 237 yards through there. Xander, 100 yards on the ground. You put up 30 points. Do you feel like, you know, that's enough to win football games in this conference? I think our offense uh, – it was doing pretty well early on. Uh, we had some good drives. We made some plays. We were able to run the football. We had some big chunks. Um, you know, we punted once there in the first half. Uh, we had a scramble on a second down and, and a third down. They all out blitzed us. We had to get the ball out quick. And really, uh, you know, beginning of the second half, we took the ball down and scored the first drive. And then, uh, you know, I think uh, as we got going, we didn't get the ball very much, especially in the fourth quarter. Uh, we were driving at one point uh, and, and threw an interception on third down, which was costly. And then I know the next time we were on the plus 38 uh, with third down and we, and we had David deep. We had Rondell about on a 12-yard out on third and 12, and we had Jackson Anthrop on a little under at, at five yards. And we wanted to complete the under, get in field goal range, and we, we threw it high. So we, we misfired on a, on a couple there. But, uh, you know, being efficient. Uh, making plays, uh, finding ways to score points is always going to be critical and taking care of the ball. But it's really – it's a team sport, and what has to happen for us is all three segments of our team need to play better. And we need to play together, and we all need to do our part in order to win these close games. And that means, uh, you know, like I said, our, our coach has got to you know, coach our tail off all week and put the best plan together, and then our players got to want to go out there and play aggressive and physical and, and, and try to find a way to win these games. What are you seeing out of Nebraska? What are the challenges that they're going to present you on uh, on Saturday? Well, Nebraska's been in a lot of their games as well. They're going to spread the field on offense, and uh, the ability for the quarterback to run uh, it makes it dangerous, and that's going to be a challenge for us. We're going to you know, have to find ways to, to, to get off the field and get the ball back for the offense and create stops, and we're going to have to contain uh, you know the running back around the edge and the quarterback pulling the ball and running it. And those are – things that they've been pretty good at every game. So that means you're going to have to, you know, uh, designate some resources to get that done. And on offense, it's about being efficient. It's about getting into our playmakers. It's about, uh, you know, not turning the ball over. And, and special teams, you know, that, that segment has to win for us. So really, like I said, all three segments uh, need to play better. And we need to uh, play together. And uh, we need to find a way to get a win. Thanks, Coach. Okay, Emily with the exponent. Morning, Coach. Um, so what? how big of a role did confidence or the loss of confidence in any point of the game, how did that have a role in um, the game? I think the momentum uh, definitely went in their favor. And, uh, you know, we wanted to stop them to start the second half. They went down and scored, but our offense responded and scored. And uh, you know, so they returned a kickoff uh, for a touchdown. And then they got a little momentum, momentum there. And then I think from there it was hard to – get off the field on defense and that uh, kind of sparked him quite a bit and being able to run the football and uh, just get chunks of yards uh, uh, when they needed to. So all that is a part of winning and losing. 
and uh, we got to create our own momentum. And uh, that's that's up to us. We got to do a better job of it. And uh, Xander got a lot of touches on the ball last week, more than uh, more than in past games. So is there going to be more of an effort on Saturday to um, give Rondale the ball more, give David the ball, give David the ball more? Um, are we going to see uh, Jack throwing more on Saturday? Well, there's one ball in every play, so we're going to try to give it to uh, all of our playmakers as much as we can. Sometimes the way the defense plays is going to dictate how that happens. You know, these guys – you know, had a good plan. We knew they would. Uh, they played a lot of two high safety look, and they had um, nickel man right over top of Rondell running with him wherever he went with the safety over the top, and the same thing with David Bell. So when that happens, you can't force the ball to them. We've got to be able to run the ball. We've got to be able to, to, to move the ball that way, and, and I thought we did a pretty good job of that, especially early on. And then when you get in passing situations, then it's a little tougher. So we got to create ways to, you know, make sure we still get those guys open and get them away from the double teams as, as much as we can. Uh, but you know, whatever it takes to win, that's what we want to do. Thank you. Okay, Mike. <clears throat> Morning, Jeff. Um, you, know, you, you started off saying you got a lot of work to do. I mean, what's defensively? If you know, what's what's at the top of the list defensively that you that needs to get corrected before Saturday? Well, I think uh, you know this week I need to uh, do the best job I can of being involved in all phases of our game. Uh, so that's going to happen this week and. Um, you know, we want to make sure that uh, we put a plan together that uh, has the resources available to stop the run, uh, to get penetration, to put pressure on the quarterback, uh, and to challenge the offense and not let them sit back there and do what they want. So I think we need to do a better job of that. At the same time, you, you, you've got to you know, uh, have a little bit of uh, cautiousness as well and make sure that you're smart with it and that you understand – uh, that there's got to be a little give and take. There's got to be a little cat and mouse. But uh, we want to be aggressive and we want to, um, you know, do the things necessary to stop what the other team is doing. And, uh, you know, that's going to be important that we do that. And uh, I think on special teams, we, we always want to be sound in what we're doing. We don't want to give up big plays. Uh, I think, you know, other than our punting game, uh, we had we did a better job in the return game. And we, we, we made some progress there. We just We just did a bad job on the – on the, on the one uh, kickoff return for a touchdown that hurt us. Where was the where was the breakdown, or was there a breakdown uh, on the kickoff return? Well, we had two starters uh, on it that uh, had to come out because of injury, so we had two backups in, and uh, you know a couple guys didn't do exactly what they were, what were supposed to do. And when that happened, it was able to allow the ball to bounce, and once it bounced um, to the outside. Uh, you know, we, we were stuck. And uh, so we've got to do a better job of making sure everyone understands the role. Everyone understands that special teams is uh, the most important part of our team. And if you can't play on special teams, you can't play on offense and defense. So every uh, play is vital. And we've got to have our, our put our best foot forward every time. How much uh, the lack of sacks or the lack of pressure on the quarterback is contributing to the third down woes as far as getting off the field? Well, it's contributing to it. You know, we, we want to try to create some more pressure and uh, get after the quarterback more, and we've got to you know, be committed to doing that. And uh, So, yes, you know, making the quarterback feel uncomfortable and, and, and being aggressive in our approach is going to be important for us. I mean, you did dial up a few more pressures last week. I mean, you just had the one sack, but did you feel like you at least hit the quarterback a little bit more last week against Rutgers? I think any time we had some type of pressure, it, it was it was mostly effective. So that was good, and um, I think that uh, shows us that uh, you know we, we we've got to be aggressive and we've got to uh, do things to um, keep the offense off balance, and and, uh, and that's the way I want to be. So that that needs to get done. Uh, I'm sure you've had a chance to review the targeting play on Derek. Uh, what was your conclusion to that? And is that is that anything that if it was not the right call that can be appealed and or anything like that? Uh, I don't think so. We, we've tried that before. Um, you know, but, uh, you know, they reviewed it. They said it was targeting. We'll, we'll abide by the call. And, um, you know, I, I, you know I, I could see how they called it targeting. I, I, I wouldn't, but I could I could see how they called it targeting. And it, it's just one of those things that uh, Derek tried to make a hard play and a hard tackle. And, um, you know, maybe his helmet hit, you know, before the rest of his other body did. Just the game he was having up until then, 
Uh, he, he seemed to be all over the field. He was running sideline to sideline. Was this one of his better games uh, I this season? Derek, yeah, I think Derek's gotten better every week. Um, you know, playing the inside linebacker position. You know, he plays hard. Um, you know, mentally, uh, you know, he just got to continue to to be in the right spot at the right time. But he he, he gives us great leadership. And he's aggressive, uh, and uh, he's improving every week. So, uh, you know, missing him in the first half uh, will be something we have to adjust to. What uh, what was uh, the key to getting the running game going last week? Well, we knew these guys uh, played a lot of too high safety look, and uh, they didn't want to give up the big play in the passing game, and that's exactly what they did. And then, of course, they mixed some blitzes off of it, and they disguised it very good, you know, to the last minute. And uh, on third down, that's when they, you know, gave you some more uh, complicated things. But they did a good job. When we, when we checked, they checked out of it, and that gave us a, a few problems, the, the few possessions we had there in the second half. But, um, you know, when that, you know, the way the defense was designed, you have to be able to run the ball. And I think we, we, we did pretty effective and we, we had some big chunks and we created a couple of new runs as well to get out on the perimeter uh, that were effective. Uh, but once again, you know, it's got to be team efficiency for us to win. And I think, uh, I don't know, eight of our last nine or nine of our last 10 games have been one possession games. We, we've got to win those games and we've got to become more efficient. You know, all three segments uh, each week uh, have to do their part in order for us to win. I think you know, our guys, are starting to understand that, you know, we, we can't have a, 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 break, uh, a miscue here or a miscue there that's going to cost us. we got to be on the same page and we got to be playing hard and we all got to be trying to make as many plays as we can to help us win. Uh, is King, King Daru rounding back into, uh, into form? I think so. I think he ran hard. It was good to see him back on the field. He was injured there for a while. I think he's back healthy. Um, you know, he, he, did a, he did a pretty good job for us and I think um, – you know, he just got to continue to, to work and improve, and we got to continue to get him some touches. What kind of compliment can he be to Xander? And uh, and they kind of got different running styles, but what kind of one-two combination can that be for you in the running game? Well, I think it was effective for us this past game, so we'll continue to build on that. And uh, both guys have played for us. They have some experience. Uh, they run hard. Um, that's one of the better things they do. They play hard. They run hard, and, and they're physical players. Um, is Jared Spark still with the program? Uh, Jared Sparks uh, has opted out. Okay. All right. And there were some other guys that didn't dress, like Marvin Grant and Samisi. Um, were they injured or is it another reason? No, they were injured. They were injured. Okay. Um, all right. That's all I need. Thank you. Hey, Tom. Hey, Jeff. Uh, you guys have played a lot of close games this year. I think your five games have been decided by a 28 total points. Just talk about the perils of playing in close games and what you need to do to, to win those close games. Well, the positives are is we've been positive. I think they want to win, and I think they're committed to doing that, uh, and, and that's a positive. So we got to build on that, and uh, you know, but we haven't been able to win uh, quite a few of these close games uh, games lately. So when that happens, we all have to you know dive into what we're doing and. Uh, as a former player, uh, you know, the first thing that has to happen is each coach has to you know, figure out a way to put our players in the best position to succeed and how can we get better and how can we create an environment where they can make a few of those plays that they're not. So we got to do that. Our players got to uh, you know, dig deeper as well and understand that when, when these games get tight, we've got to uh, maintain our composure, our confidence, and we've got to find ways to make plays. You know, I, I, I tell our players all the time a story of um, – you know, I played behind Steve Young for three years, and, you know, um, I remember coming to the sideline on, on a key uh, drive to win the game, and uh, Steve was one of the smartest quarterbacks I've been around, and that was back in the age where, where quarterbacks called the plays, and uh, the coach was kind of asking Steve, hey, what do you want to run here? What do you like? And, you know, for a guy as smart as him, he specifically looked at him and said, hey, coach, you call the play. We'll make it work. All right, you do your job. All right, we'll make it work. So whatever call you got, we'll make it work. So that's got to be the mentality. We're, we got to put them the, the best, do the best job we can to put them in a uh, position to succeed. And then when that call's made, our, our players got to say, we're going to make it work. So we just got to get everybody to understand that, you know, the difference in winning and losing is this much, and we've all got to do the small things. Jeff, do you think the special team struggles are a function in any way of the turnover in that position? You've had four special team coaches in four years. I think, uh, 
you know, really we, we had a, a decent day on special teams other than the, the one return um, you know, for a touchdown. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we had some backups in and uh, you know, we, we, we all did do our job. And when that, when that happens, uh, then, then we're going to get a big play. So that, that was disappointing and that can't happen. So we've got to make sure that that doesn't happen. And then, you know, our punting game, um, you know, it didn't hurt us, but we've got to get better at punting the football. And that, that's, that's been a little bit of an issue. Uh, but uh, we just got to continue to work through it. Is this a tough team? Is this a team that can deal with adversity, Jeff? Well, we've got to be a team that can deal with adversity. That's, that's part of football. We're going to have it every year. Every year since I've been here, we've had first year we're four and six. Uh, we find a way to win at the end. Uh, the next year we start 0 and three. We find a way to win uh, against an undefeated Boston College team, uh, against Iowa, against Ohio State, and, and, and get to a bowl game. Uh, past year, we didn't find a way to win. Uh, you know, and, and this year, you know, we've got a work cut out for us without question. You know, we, we've lost three in a row. Uh, we've got a tough opponent coming in. It's going to be very hungry. They've been, they've been in a lot of close games as well. Uh, and we have some tough football left to be played. So, yes, it's going to, it's going to see what we're made of. Uh, it's going to test uh, our toughness and, and, and mental attitude. And, and, yeah, we're going to have to step up and rise to the occasion. Hey, Jeff, the offensive line two weeks in a row just played five guys. I know you said last week that was probably a function of some injuries. I know a couple guys were still out. I didn't see Jordan going to Bramble, but um, is that still the case, or you think these are your five guys you like? Well, those guys are out, and, and uh, that's, that's made it a little bit easier. So the substitution pattern, there's not as many options uh, right now. Uh, but we, we have a few uh, that are ready to go in. Uh, you know, we feel good that uh, Grant Hermans and – Greg Long have done a pretty good job for us to tackle. I mean, they got to continue to get better, but they, they've been pretty steady. Um, you know, Sam Garvin's um, a steady player that can snap the ball and he knows our calls and gives us great effort. And our young guards uh, you know, are playing hard in Spencer and, and, and Gus. Now, we made some mistakes in this past game. We had some costly penalties that hurt us uh, that we can't have. Uh, there were a few times we're not getting off on the count together, so we got to get the snap count corrected to make sure um, uh, you know we're all on the same page there. But I think that you know I'm not for sure. I don't think we've given up any sacks the last two games. Our, our guys are playing hard. We've been able to run uh, the football at, at times. We just once again the margin for error is small, so we've got to be as consistent as we possibly can on every play. And we got to find ways to take it down and score every time. The last we touch question, it. Jeff. I mean, that fourth quarter was one of the most bizarre scenes I've ever seen in my life. Have you ever been involved in a quarter of football where you just had the ball for one minute and 43 seconds, ran just three plays, none of them a pass? It was surreal. Yeah, uh, it was no fun. And uh, as you guys know, they, they, they got the momentum, and then they were to control the football, and uh, we didn't get it back. And then the one time we did, we didn't take advantage of it. So – you know, the things didn't go our way. We didn't make them go our way. Uh, and we didn't finish the game that we needed the way we needed to. And when, when you don't do that, you're, you're going to lose. So, um, you know, those things happen. We've got to find ways to fight through that. We've got to find ways to play hard the entire game, regardless of the circumstance. We've got to find ways to, to get out of a funk when it happens. And, and I think that's got to be a, a component of every uh, unit of our team, offense, defense, and special teams, rising to the occasion understanding that no we, we've got to make plays and, and uh, you know, if we do that then we'll have more opportunities but yeah it was a disappointing end of the game thank you Jeff hey Brian do you have anything yeah hey Jeff just to follow up on Carm's question about the guys who were out was Giovante Howard part of that too was he available this weekend uh, yes he was available and then one other totally random kind of question for you here real quick I'm curious as to at what point do you talk to your seniors about who may want to come back next year or who you might want to see if they want to come back next year. I understand that's probably not your priority during the season, but because this dovetails with recruiting and all that stuff, I'm curious as to when that process begins. Well, we, we have constant communication with our guys and, uh, you know, there's been conversations before with some of them on, on some of those uh, natures, but, you know, when it gets to the season, we're focused on winning the game. Our players are focused on winning the game. Really there's been, uh, no talk from players about that. They, they want to work hard to win. The, I think that uh, you know, we're focused on the now. We're focused on, on trying to win uh, against the next opponent. I think all of our players are. So I think when the season's over, we'll deal with that. Thank you, Jeff. Yeah, does anybody else have anything? Please either raise your hand or speak up in chat. Mike, you got to follow it? Yeah, just regarding uh, this being the last home game, will you 
Will there be a senior day? Yes, we will. Okay. All right. Is there anything else from anybody? Please speak up. If not, okay, great. Thank you very much.